day everyone welcome to another episode of our AutoCAD MEP tutorial series today we start to size our HVAC equipment so we'll be starting from the AC basically the process or method of sizing HVAC equipment it's based on the values we derived from our heat load calculation and we have three methods in sizing of our AC, the air conditioning system. We have the thumb rule method, we have the manual calculation method, and the software method. The thumb rule method is like an approximation method where we do consider the room or you call it space area and the occupancy level by doing this we have three exponents in sizing our ac the first one is multiplying our space area by 0 0.07 which we do use this formula for corridors lounge and walkway this will give us the tonnage requirement and we still have 0 0.08 for medium load such as the bedroom offices and the living rooms and we still have the 0 0.09 that is we multiply our space by 0 0.09 to determine the tonnage requirement and we do use this for high load area such as the supermarket malls auditorium etc Any area an HVAC engineer is working on is called a space. So you need to determine the area of the space you have to size. We will sometimes do consider the building orientation. But in this project, we will only consider the space area. Although many factors also comes in. The method I do use in executing my design is that for a space which is less than 13 meters square with moderate occupant. So be having one horsepower single phase AC. While for a space which is less than 20 meters square with moderate occupant will be having 1.5 horsepower. But from 20 meters square space to 30 meters square will be using two horsepower and we all know one horsepower is equivalent to 9000 British Tama unit 1.5 horsepower is equivalent to 12,000 white horsepower is equivalent to 18,000 and even if you do the normal calculation method you will be having value equivalent to this thumb rule figures so this implies that in this my main launch you need to determine the area so i'll be using dimension f3 that's 5.2 4.6 which is around 24 meter square this implies in my main lodge here I'll be using two horsepower and for my dining four point six three point four which is around fifteen meters square that means I'll be using 1.5 horsepower in my dining. For my kitchen, I'm not using AC for my kitchen. But for the bedroom here, let's determine the area. You can even use the area method of AutoCAD by pressing area. Specify first corner. Let's just specify some around here. Here. Here.
So you press enter. Oh, so I'm having something around in 10 meters square. This implies when this is my bedroom, I'll be using 1.5 horsepower. So let's proceed to the other rooms. Here. Yeah. So 19.6 meter again, 1.5 horsepower. And for this our bedroom here. Yeah. 15.2, which is within my 1.5 horsepower range. Likewise is our bedroom. Again, 1.5 was fast, so we can easily deduce that all our bedrooms will be using 1.5 horsepower in our main lounge at the ground floor. We'll be using 2 horsepower, our dining 1.5 horsepower. So we'll be having 